REDCap stands for reduced capability, and it's a new 5G modem capability that's going to start emerging in the, in the coming years. What we're seeing in the industry is a class of devices, wearables, new AR, VR, consumer devices, but also a host of new use cases in industrial, IoT, M2M, various other connected devices that are not well served with current technologies today. So at one end, of course, we have standard 5G modems. They give obviously very high data rate capabilities into the gigabits per second, but that comes with a certain cost and a certain power uh, requirement. At the other end, you have legacy 4G and even 3G technologies. So you've got these older solutions that don't address the market needs. You've got current 5G technology that in many cases is probably still too expensive, you know, too high power to meet some of the needs of, of these markets. And that's exactly where REDCap fits in. And that's the problem that REDCap is going to solve in the coming years. So certainly not as high as the gigabit that you have on the full 5G side, more compatible at the data rates with, let's say, what we used to get historically with 4G LTE, Category 4, Category 6 uh, modem capabilities. On the other hand, it is compatible with the new 5G standalone architectures. So it can benefit from all of the work that the 5G standardization does, latency reduction, network efficiency. So we'll really deliver those data rates in an extremely power efficient manner. We think like 70% reduction from sort of traditional LTE modem technologies, 70% reduction from sort of compatible full full capability 5G modem. So very, very radical in terms of power reduction, you know, cost size advantages. REDCap is going to enable all of these, these capabilities, as I mentioned. But I think as those types of devices need to scale more broadly into lower price points, maybe to address consumers in emerging markets or some other parts of the world, REDCap could be an interesting solution there as well. Just like the other use cases, it may not offer you know, the same data rates as a full 5G modem, but can allow much more affordable price points, make those devices much more accessible, and still bring you know, connectivity to the unconnected.